What's going on guys, Attica from the Attica World Network here and I just saw some of the most amazing footage in my life. You all know, Zero, the best, or arguably at least, one of the best Smash players on the planet. Actually, that's not even arguable. He is one of the best Smash players on the planet. Apex 2015 winner, this guy has accolades out the ass. Um, representing Chile, you guys know Zero. Anyways, so now, I don't know if some of you heard, but I had heard rumors at one point that after Zero took Apex, that he was going to experiment with different characters, like Shulk, for instance. So when I first heard this, I'm saying, you know what? I think that's going to be amazing to see because everyone puts Shulk in such a low ranking when it comes to the character usage and the, and the tiers and whatnot. And Shulk, you know, he's a significantly slower functioning character than a lot of people like Sonic and Diddy and whatnot. But Zero said, I think, I mean, I don't know for a fact, I didn't hear this from his lips, so I don't mean to put words in his mouth, but I did hear through the grapevine that Zero was going to try meaning Shulk at some point. So fast forward to Aftershock, going down in Texas, national tournament and whatnot. I'm here on Aftershock's, oh, excuse me, no, no, I'm here at um, Clash Tournament's Twitch page where they had a date, uh, a match recorded 19 hours ago, as you guys can see all this information on the screen. So um, shout out to Clash Tournament. Um, go check them out on Twitter as well too. I'll have this linked in the description so you can see this for yourself. But this tournament was recorded um, 19 hours ago and Zero was there using Shulk. I just saw one of his matches in his set against the Buzz. The Buzz was using Sonic, Zero was using Shulk and I feel like we have to talk about this. I feel like I have to show this because there's so many people that break these characters down to just being in a certain tier or whatnot, and they feel as if characters in the lower ones can never really stand up to characters in the higher ones. Sonic is high, Shulk is low. That logic didn't come to any kind of conclusivity when it was in this match that I just saw with Zero and the Buzz. So, I feel like I have to show this on camera so that way I can show you guys that tears don't necessarily make the character. They have an influence on the character, but they don't make the character what they are. And I heard a very inspirational, game-changing quote from Nairo, one of the best players on the planet as well too. He's definitely up there when it comes to Smash 4 players. Nairo, he's also like the best Robin on the planet apparently as well too. He's really good. And I learned a couple of things from him with Robin in the past. He told me this one day, you know what, Etika, tears don't mean a damn thing. Tears have nothing to do with it when you go into those competitive games. It's all about how you can read, how you can predict mind games, mix-ups, all that. Tears, no, nah, that's not as important. And when he told me that, I was like, holy shit. Is he, gee, so do you mean I can like fight a Robin or I can fight a Diddy? I mean, excuse me, not fight a Robin, but I can fight a Diddy or I can fight a Sonic with Robin and I still have just as much of a chance to win as they do? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. It's all about your mix-up game. It's all about having control of that character, knowing what to do when, and you know, just throwing them off their game. And oh my God, we have to watch this match. We have to watch the last, I don't know if this is going to be the last match in the set, but we have to finish watching this set on camera because this, I feel, is going to influence so many of you guys. So many of you guys are casual players like myself who are getting into Smash for the first time competitively like this, and some of you may just be dismayed at the fact that, oh, Diddy's always up there on the tier Sonic. And right now, we're in the early stages of the game, so the tier talk is throwing a lot of people off. I don't want you guys to be discouraged. I want you to see that any character can excel in the game of Smash Brothers. Any character can put work in on that battlefield. All you have to do is make sure that you're willing to put the work in with them in the laboratory. All you gotta do is make sure you're willing to put the work in with them, go into tournaments, trying to learn mix-ups and whatnot. That's what it's all about. And th th I'm saying all this because I saw Zero Shulk just now de defeat the Buzz's Sonic. But this is only match one in the set. Let's see what match two brings. Oh my god, that was amazing though. That was fucking amazing. So the Buzz looks like he's gonna stay with Sonic. Shulk is gonna stay with Zero, or vice versa. Let's see what's going to happen here because, oh my god. Let's see what tears mean here. I hope that this teaches a lot of you that it's all about just how you play. So right now, I think this is a tournament with customs as well too, because Zero seems like he has the fast acting Monado, but it's much more intense. So what it means is that Shulk's Monado arts are a lot more effective, but they don't last anywhere near as long. So the Buster, if he hits him, he should be doing a ton of damage per hit. <gasps> Went from two to 19 with a grab. Even with the regular Buster without the custom, that's not, that, you can't reach that with the regular Buster without the custom. So, look at that. I, I hate that Sonic combo. <laughs> this is exactly how Kobe plays with Sonic. Damn. 
One thing you have to notice here is that Zero, as much as he may get pummeled in the beginning, he doesn't let it get to him. He doesn't let that shit get to him. He just keeps playing the way he does. You don't see him getting frantic with the controls. Damn. He plays a lot more patiently with Shulk than a lot of players do. And that might be the key to using Shulk. Patience. So now he's got Smash on, but you know, with the custom, he should be able to, look, the custom Smash, the, en the enhanced Smash makes Shulk a, such a fucking threat on that field. Sonic was at total kill percentage at 80% without rage. Without rage. Dude just did almost 20% with a fucking grab. Oh my god. Are you guys seeing this? Are you fucking seeing this? Are you seeing this right now? I don't mean to sound annoying. I know I'm being a fucking fanboy, but I mean, holy shit. Look at the patience of Zero. He's biding his time with this. He's not rushing in. He's not playing the way you would with a Captain Falcon. He's playing the way you would with a Shulk. Keeping it. Okay. So now we see him going into Buster. Keep track of the damage that he's able to put out there. The Enhanced Custom Buster, I wonder if he takes more damage just because of the enhancement of them. So right now, I don't, I don't doubt Sonic is in kill percentage because of Zero's rage with just 80%. If he even is in rage, but now he's in rage. But the patience, he doesn't rush in. He stands back and he waits, trying to get the opponent to make a move and then take advantage of it. And the grabs that Shulk has are actually have a pretty good amount of knockback too. So I mean, he's playing patient, waiting for Sonic to come. You know, it's amazing. Some people would say this is playing like, you know, really low, slow and lame. A lot of people don't have the patience for this kind of play style. A lot of people don't. But Zero definitely does. So he's, in, he's in kill percentage right now, so I guess the Buzz knows at this point, if he gets hit by one thing, thanks to that enhanced smash. He's looking for the grab. Is Zero looking for the grab? Back row? Holy crap. This is crazy. Yeah, he ate that. <laughs> he ate that. <laughs> he didn't even get pushed back, like, all the way to the back of the stage. So the patience, as you can see here, I mean, this is also good for anybody who potentially wants to play Shulk as well, too. The patience is, oh my god. <laughs> this is the Monado's power. My nigga, Zero just 2 0 the buzz with a Sonic using Shulk. My friends, this is, this is amazing to see. It's impressive. Because, you know, you all know the Buzz's reputation, one of the best Rosalina out there. I'm sure he's using a new character as well, too. But Zero just used a Shulk to take down a character which is in a significantly higher tier, ranked by a lot of people. So, hey, all I'm saying is that, you know, tiers are for queers. <laughs> That's basically... <laughs> nah, but, I mean, if you're a casual player trying to get into competitive like I am, this was amazing for me to marvel because I'm not exactly 100%, you know, competitive savvy. But seeing a character like that really slow the game down, play to his strengths, wait for the opportunities to arise, who doesn't, who's not afraid to just play the background in stages, oh man, that's something. And it just goes to show you, every character has a play style that demands you to change up your style. You know, like you, you can't play the same way aggressively with certain characters. Like you gotta slow it up. And sometimes that, 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 that's, that's the key to using a character correctly. But um, anyways, guys, what do I know? I'm just a casual trying to get competitive. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.